Six months of learning game development in Unity. What's up, game boys? It's your boy Shed here to talk about what I learned in six months of game development. I was just chilling in my room watching the emojis movies for the 17th time. I got a call from my dearest childhood best friend. Hey, bitch, you know I'm learning web design? Shh, cringe. Game development gang for life. I heard web design is for dummies. Get a life, you piece of shit. Uh. Yeah, so I totally wasn't sad after he hung up on me. So I called Atomic and I said, Hey dude, do you remember the guy I met in the public toilet? And he said, Oh, that bitch. What about him? And I said, Yeah, so basically he said that all web developers are a bunch of blockheads. Apparently, game development is much better. Then he said, So? And I said, Why don't we give it a try? And he said, Sure thing, why not? After this call, me and Atomic finally decided to take it on a wondrous world of game development. But half a second later, we remembered a teeny tiny wincy wincy problem. We didn't know anything about game development. Me and Atomic scrolled for about two hours looking for a good way to start and finally settled on a good game development course on Udemy. Which brings us to the sponsor of the video, Udemy. Udemy is a website filled with awesome... Uh, dude, we didn't get sponsored by Udemy. What? But the sheet said that... I know what it said. <laughs> uh... Uh... <laughs> Anyway, we searched for good game engines for beginners and found out about two major game engines, Unreal and Unity. We didn't really know which engine to start with, so we used a highly classified technique to choose the engine. We finally chose Unity. After searching for a while, I found a Unity 2D beginner course by two baldies. They may not have any hair up there, but they surely got some brains. Later the same day, we got very excited to watch the first video. The first few were just setting up everything and when we finally got to the basic coding, we didn't understand a single thing but still our little programmer heart were very excited. We watched about 20 videos in that same day and our little brains exploded. Few days later, following the course, I made a small text adventure game which was very epic. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Extreme Gamer 7005 hashtag dollar symbol dollar symbol double s unknown symbol gamers for dragon fist reptile slayer. How is it going, Extreme Gamer 7005 hashtag dollar symbol dollar symbol double s unknown symbol gamers for dragon fist reptile slayers? Today we are gonna getting a victory from a game called Pirate Adventure. Let's jump into it. Press one to continue. Alright guys, that was my walkthrough of Pirate Adventure. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe and ring the bell to become a part of the notification nation. Thanks for watching. Once again, next game by someone not by hashtag all simple dollar simple double S unknown simple gamer squad dragon fist the press like this game is the first game I ever made. It was the series of every other game featured in this video. By the way, if you wanna play any of our games mentioned in this video, all of them will be linked in the description below. In month three, I started to learn about physics. And as Einstein once said, physics is cool. Yeah, I started to make a few physics based mechanics. I learned about triggers and collisions and some other cool stuff. Few weeks later, I stepped into the wondrous world of sprite animation and just animations in general. And it was really really fun to play with the Unity animator. Finally, after spending some time just fiddling with the Unity editor, I could do some basic animations. So I was finally pretty good about myself and decided to learn how to use the audio mixer in the Unity. I didn't know that adding just a few sounds effect to the game would be so impactful. So I would even say that it was a game changer. As Batawan once said, roses are red, violets are blue, sound effects cool. Finally, the part we all been waiting for. I made my own 2D platformer game. I was so excited because retro games like Mario and Mega Man always held a special place in my heart. Now I had the skill to make a game similar to the Mario. I learned about animation states. Basically what it means is, if your character stays still, the idle animation will be active. But if your character moves, then the run animation will play. I also learn about tile map. If you're wondering what tile map is, it's just a tiled map. Yeah, I know. You're welcome. Few days later, I started to learn a little bit about art. Is it just me or this character looking kind of thick? After a lot of struggling, 
we conducted a game jam only for us. It was basically to test our skills and put our game development heart into a game. The rules were the same. We had 7 days to create a fully playable game and it has to suit the theme blah 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 the usual. The only downside to conducting a game jam for 3 people was each one of had a certain period of time to think a theme for a jam. But we didn't reveal it until the end of the time period. No matter which game gets picked, one of us had our upper hand. Anyway, we all reviewed the game. We put all our themes on a spin, the wheel kind of website, so that the theme would get picked randomly. And then, we spin the wheel, the theme was really colorful, given by Atomic. It was the first time we ever made a fully functional game alone. It was a hard time and we struggled a lot. We watched tons of tutorials and yoinked some quotes because we didn't know what the f we were doing half the time. I made a game called Blindness. I tried to make art in a monochromatic style. And after all of that struggle, guess who won the game? Comment down below to find out who. <laughs> yeah, don't. The twist was that I was the only one who submitted the game in time. And that makes me the winner. After the jam, we decided to make our own Android game. We are not gonna get into it in this video because it's a top secret. If you wanna hear more, see the progress of our game, make sure to check out our social media. We'll discuss more about the game in later videos. For now, let's just continue from where we left off. Then, the programmer god Brachis himself hosted a game jam. We were so hyped to participate in it. It was one of the biggest game jam and it was also the proper game jam we participated in. We made an entire video showcasing the game jam sharing our experience in the jam. So you can just go ahead and check it out. A great tragedy did happen. But you'll have to watch the video to know what it is. After the game jam, we continued to work on our mobile game. Go ahead and check out our social media to hear more about the game. And now we are here. These 6 months really did put a mark on my life. I've learned so many things on this journey and I'm so excited to see what the future has in store. I've just talked about the big things what I've learned in these 6 months. There's so much love. It's always been my childhood dream to create my own game and it's crazy to think that I'm actually starting to enter the path. And hopefully you guys will join my journey as well. By the way guys make sure to like this video if you like this video and dislike this video if you dislike this video. Comment down below what you want to see next. Smash the subscribe button or I'll smash you.